Hey you guys, it's Jason from the RC Cave. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to tell you about some of the waterproofing that I've done to my Axial SCX10. Now, if you don't subscribe to my channel, I have a couple other videos talking about the upgrades and modifications I've done to this vehicle, as well as some running videos at different locations around here in Ecuador. So check those out if you're not subscribed. Now, where I live, there's a lot of moisture on the ground. And that means that if I want to take my RC outside year-round, I really have to have it waterproofed. Same goes for you guys that live where there's snow on the ground, or if you just like to run it through the mud, you like to do the occasional stream crossing when you're out trailing, you really have to have it waterproofed. So let me bring it a little bit closer, and I'm going to tell you about what I've done to waterproof this rig. Now when I first started running my uh, Jeep Rubicon kit, I didn't know any better and I didn't do any waterproofing, just ran it in the mud and the rain and it just got full of nasty dirt and the bearings were all squeaky and it was just a mess. So when I rebuilt it, I really tried to do it right. And so what I've done with the bearings is the ones that were really nasty, I just threw them away, got a new bearing set. The ones that were worth saving, I will blast them with that uh, brake cleaner that comes in a can, which is basically just acetone. And then I fill them up with marine grease. Now I know a lot of people and like the bearing manufacturers will say you need to use oil and not grease. Now that may be true for people that race their RCs. You know, your rolling resistance is less and maybe it spins a little more freely. But for me, my priority is waterproofing and durability. It's a crawler, so I don't really care about rolling resistance. So that's what I do. I fill them up with marine grease. Now for the axles, same thing. I fill them with marine grease, but um, I make sure to leave some space where those drive gears are, otherwise they'll get full of uh, gunk and grime. So I make sure to leave space there. And what I like about filling those axles with marine grease is you add a lot of weight. I mean, I mentioned this crawler is super heavy. Um, I'm adding several ounces of weight at the lowest possible point, which is in the axles. And so that's good weight for a crawler. So that's another thing between this 5,000 milliamp battery, the uh, weight in the wheels and the, all that grease, this thing is super heavy. So the radio box on an SCX-10 is covered but not sealed. Now Axial provides some rubber gaskets for some of their other kits. This is from an Axial Wraith kit and you can see how the rubber gasket is designed to go around the seal of the radio box and this foamy sticky tape uh, is designed to go right there where the wires are to create a seal. Now the SCX-10 doesn't come with that. Uh, from what I can tell from the manual, there, there are no gaskets included. So what I've done to imitate those gaskets is I use some strips of double-sided servo tape. I wrap the wires in a few strips of this uh, tape right there where it enters the radio box and that creates a nice rubbery foamy seal. And then for the rest of the radio box, I've tried a new technique, which is that I've painted it with Plasti Dip, so it creates a nice built-in rubbery gasket around the seal of the radio box, so when I close it down, like so, you can see that it's completely sealed with rubber all the way around. And that's worked out pretty well for me because I just had this out on a rainy, muddy day and it's nice and clean inside and all outside here, it's all covered in mud and grime. So uh, that seems to work out pretty well for me. Now, if you want a truly waterproof receiver, there's two methods that I know of. First is the Plasti Dip method. You can connect some servo leads onto there and then just dump that receiver in the can of Plasti Dip and you end up with a receiver basically co coated in rubber. So that's a good way to go. And another way to do it is the uh, balloon method. You basically throw the receiver inside of a balloon and then use a zip tie where the wires come out. So both of those me methods would give you a truly waterproof receiver. But the way I've done it allows um, access to the receiver when you need it. If you need to pair it to a different radio, which I do all the time, that seems to work out pretty well for me. And I've had this thing in the water several times, no problems at all. Now for my ESC, I used to run a Sidewinder in this rig because it's got a brushed crawler motor in it, but I'm running a Mamba Max Pro now. I already had one, so why not? I use Plasti Dip to waterproof it. Now, a lot of people say conformal coating is supposed to be better for the circuits, so check that out if you're considering waterproofing your ESC. I can't get conformal coating where I live in Ecuador, so I use Plasti Dip. But one thing I will mention is I didn't dip it in the can. What I did is I painted it very carefully. I painted all the circuits with Plasti Dip all the way around here inside the circuit board in between the capacitors, but I did not cover the uh, heat sink itself because that ESC needs to breathe. So you can see the heat sink is, uh, 
is free to breathe. So that should give me a waterproof ESC. For my servo, what I do is I open up the top of the case, fill the area around the spline with marine grease, and then I put that case back on and the marine grease creates a seal so the water can't come in uh, through the spline. Now, I also use an O-ring uh, between the servo horn and the spline. That's not really necessary, but it's another layer of protection. Then I paint up all the seals and around the screws and around the wire with Plasti Dip, and that creates a pretty good waterproof servo. Of course, you can just buy a waterproof servo for like 30 bucks, but the servo I'm using is a high tech 7954, and it's got, I think, 400 and some ounces of torque at 7.4 volts, so a servo uh, with that level of performance isn't available waterproofed. So that's why I do that. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. Please sub if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time.